Sissy Rocket is more than a pop singer. She's a cult leader. Her honest lyrics and insanely catchy melodies hooked me instantly. We talk about sexuality and music and her cult following. So can you tell me like the backstory of Bestie? It's such a like big song. You know, every, I'm, I'm sure everyone always asks you about this, but it's just such a in your face song. It's so honest. Well, yeah, it's actually like a hundred percent like true story. So <laughs> like the night was like pretty dark. Like we were both like in relationships and we were like super young. I think we were like both 20 or something mm -hmm. and there were drugs involved and stuff. I went in with Scott Hoffman from Scissor Sisters the next day to write and I was kind of like telling him about it and he was like, ooh, like scandalous. Like we should write about that. It kind of just came out as this like parody. Like I wanted to just kind of like make light of like a darker like situation. Because you have this like very like open sexuality. Does that uh -huh. kind of influence your music? Yeah, definitely. Um, one of my like idols is peaches i feel like her uh like sexuality is very like informed by her music and like yeah. vice versa and we love it. so um that's kind of what i'm trying to like achieve do you think there's kind of a double standard for women in music you know present <laughs> <laughs> you know like an open way yeah i get told all the time like that I'm seen as this, like, man-eater, like, super sexually aggressive, like, or, like, person. <laughs> um, and I feel like men can be aggressive, and it's, like, mm -hmm. not seen as, like, a negative thing. Like, my persona is sort of emulating, like, um, rock stars from the 70s, like yeah. Freddie Mercury, David Bowie, and, like, Iggy Pop. And, like, they have their shirts off, and yeah. it's seen as like iconic yeah. but like Courtney Love does it and we like villainize her and we're like she's gross you know people always say that when, when guys do that it's always like oh man they don't care what anyone thinks they're a rock star but like when girls do it they're like whoa that she's a slut you know well like 98 percent of my fans are <laughs> girls yeah and like they actually see they're the ones who tell me, like, oh, my God, like, you're so empowered by your sexuality. Yeah. Like, I, like, I look up to you so much for that. And I didn't realize how important that part of it was mm -hmm. until I started getting letters that were, like, saying the same thing. Like, I didn't know that, like, Bestie was going to, like, empower, like, little girls to, like, come out of the closet. Like, that was, that's, like, crazy to me. But, like... I'm glad that something as, like, you know, seemingly, like, superficial as Bestie can have, like, that powerful of a message. Can you, can you tell me a little bit about your fans? I feel like you have such a, like, on Twitter and everything, you have such a special bond with them. It's really, like, unique. Um, so I started calling it the cult, and I'm the cult leader. <laughs> Which is, like, I also love, like, the aesthetic of, like, cult it's following. Like the underground. You know, scene yeah, yeah yeah we make like zines and stuff because i make zines so like they started making their own zines and we are always like exchanging these like political like feminist ideas and like these kids are like really like informed mm -hmm. um for like 16 like 15 years old like that's how old they are they'll message me about like their parents or like um like personal they're in or like relationship advice or like what birth control should I be on and it's just like beyond like the music it, they feel like they can come to me with that because I'm I just like don't judge and like mm -hmm. tell them what I think and they trust it so it's a very like unique relationship <laughs> you have so many young women at your shows I guess what would what's your like number one advice that you would give to them I would say it's okay to feel things really deeply. I can't tell you how many times, like, girls talk to me about, like, depression or, like, oh, my God, like, this boy doesn't like me because I was, like, too emotional or, like, anxiety and, yeah. like, stuff like that. And I just want to say, like, it's okay. Just find, like, a way to, like, get it out. Like, <laughs> make zine or, like, do your art or, like, do music or, like, ballet or, like... Mm -hmm. 
make little movies on your phone. Like, I don't know. So what's, what's next for you? What's next? Um, I'm working on new Sizzy music. Duh. <laughs> and then I'm shooting a video to a cover that I did at the end of August. Mm-hmm. We're like casting it now. It's going to be really raunchy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to her last EP thrills and keep your eye out for future projects by following her on Twitter at Sizzy Rockets.